All right, tonight, leaders of a Cobb County synagogue, they're speaking out after a video of a group carrying Nazi paraphernalia sparked outrage from community members all the way up to public officials. News Dash reporter Joy Dukes has more on why they say the display was meant to intimidate them. Well, it only strengthened their Jewish pride. Yeah, Cobb County police and a number of residents were here while that group of individuals waved flags and signs depicting anti-Semitic messages. Now, those messages that were seen by members of the synagogue here were called deeply disturbing. There you see it, a tense exchange between angry Cobb County residents and a group of protesters holding signs and flags depicting symbols of hate. That was the view from inside Chabad of Cobb Synagogue off of Lower Roswell Road, where Rabbi Ephraim Silverman says he and other members were inside preparing for evening services. Uh, we have relatives that were unfortunately gassed in the concentrate in the death camps and burnt in the ovens in Auschwitz. So when you see imagery like that, it's obviously going to stir something very, very deep. It's the latest incident of spreading anti-Semitic messaging Fox 5 has reported on in areas across Metro Atlanta over several months. Cobb County police said they believe the group of 11 people came from out of town Saturday after visiting other regions of the country. It's a very small group. They go different places in the country really to provoke and to get attention. While Silverman says he believes their hope was to spread hate, it's only shown him just how much support people of Jewish heritage have in the community. Several public officials also issued statements Sunday condemning the display, including Governor Brian Kemp, State Attorney General Chris Carr, and Senator John Ossoff. Any decent human being has to condemn this kind of behavior. Silverman says they're using this as motivation to continue giving back. He believes educating young people about the Holocaust is another answer to ending calls for Jewish hate. And I think the focus needs to ultimately be on how do we respond to this darkness by increasing in light. And Georgia public officials also pointed to similar incidents taking place in other cities, including Macon and Warner Robins. Their message is very clear that there is no room for that type of hate in our state. That's the latest is here in Cobb County. Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News.